Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. There's some mill decks that work really good with that. Yeah, think about it, you put a morphing jar back on top of your deck and then, yeah, do the combo all over again. Pretty. We ended up buying some decks in the shop and facing my couple of duelists in a different way. Uh, is kind of... Whatever we're about to bring back to the graveyard, aka 
didn't play Injection very little in Attack Mode. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Alright. Another spell counter. Do I even have some of the Magician level... She's up to 450. Man, we were so close. I still think the damage was worth it, though. Oh, it was Sinister Okay. So she's going to be able to infinitely defend because she has Sinister Serpent. Not good. Not good. We basically need to draw our own Sinister Serpent to start making progress. All right, Rebecca. All right. Let the Epicosity continue. Epicosity. All right, we're up to four spell counters. Silent Magician level 8 just because uh, she's immune to spells and like I don't want to okay mystical space typhoon oh no there goes Sanyan well this will help me search the deck though so what do I want to grab here let's go to the next view um she's really close maybe giant trunade again with Magician of Faith Seems like a pretty good idea to me. Alright, our last Magician of Faith. Come to my hand. Thanks, Rebecca. You just sealed your fate. You made your fate, your hand. Wait, why'd you put Injection Fairy Lily in attack mode? That's a little weird. Uh, let's go with... Yep, Magician of Faith face down. Alright, will we be able to use Giant Trunade for the, like, fifth time in this duel? Jeez. Alright, we're about to find out. Yeah, gain your life points. Gain your life points. Now she's above us, 850. But she can't do nothing due to her own gravity bind. Alright, we draw. Nice, cyber draw. Alright. Level ups. Silent Magician level 4. Um, I'm gonna hit no. <laughs> like, I, I know what I said earlier, but it's just like... Basically, if I would have hit yes there, and we don't have Silent Magician level 8 in the deck, uh, that would have sucked, like, big time, so... Alright, I play Giant Trunade to return all cards on the field to the hands. And now you're left in attack mode, so... Uh, just in case she does have a Rebo or something weird, I'm not remembering. We'll summon DD Assailant. After this duel, we'll definitely get the return to hand bonus. So, Silent Magician, level 4, destroy her Dancing Fairy and her life points once and for all. Whew. We did it, guys. We did it. After 24 long turns, we did it. Whew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I called that return to hand bonus. 36. Oh, spell counter bonus. That's a new bonus, which gives us 50 uh, Kyber points. Very good. Very good. Awesome. All right. What say you, Rebecca? Oh, no. What should I do? I lost. Do whatever you like. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to save after that. Jeez. Uh, save state. Uh, we'll do zero. There we go. Man, that was one for the record books. All right, probably not our longest school ever, but uh, yeah, that one was still pretty, pretty up there. Okay, let's see if we can find someone besides Rebecca now. There's Mako. Uh, I probably am gonna go after the unknown. Uh, there's this one. Okay, so there's two unknowns. Um, we'll try down here, because last time Rebecca was up north, so... Uh, this looks like my... Okay, yeah, my Valentine. Okay, good. As long as it's not Rebecca. Well, let's find out who's stronger, bud. You are me. Alright. Oh no, my harpy is... Lady Sanctuary. How appropriate. And after this, we probably should switch decks, uh, because we're getting, like, the strong duels now, so... Alright, my Valentine. Bring it on. Let me get the knife. 
very cool, very cool. All right, so I think I should stop this one at about, yeah, 11.50 or so. Okay, we'll go with Spell Absorption. Good starting hand in here, good starting hand. Grace and Charity. Gain 500. Cook a combo. Ooh, and we drew in the suit. Sinister Serpent, that is perfect. Okay, I'll discard Grave Robber here. Another spell. DDC, Different Dimension Capsule. Uh, what shall we remove? Well, I'm actually going to be setting my entire hand. So let's actually remove Morphing Jar. Whoa. That was kind of weird. Oh, it's still doing it? Okay, no, there it goes. It fixed itself. I don't know why the game is kind of lagging a little bit, but uh, the different dimension capsule is too strong and the game can't handle it. Okay, Morphing Jar go. Hopefully the game will fix itself now. Okay, yeah, seems fine. <laughs> for, for whatever reason, DDC, Different Dimension Castle, was like uh, tanking the frame rate there. I'm only going to set one appropriate because she she has like Heavy Storm or uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. So, okay, Harpy Lady 3. Elegant Egotist. Oh, also, luckily she didn't have Harpy's Hunting Ground yet. Hopefully she never does in this one. Uh, what's it asking me? What's it asking me? Uh, chain of Car. Right. Oh, Solemn Wish, yeah, let's check it out. And the other one's appropriate, right? Yeah. So, I'll get the prompt for that, no problem. Harpy Lady Sisters, an attack mode. Nice. And a couple face down from my... No problem, my idea, no problem. Alright, so we have game five. Oh man, I feel very relaxed compared to how I felt with the... Uh... <laughs> The duel versus Rebecca. This is like a breeze. But mine's no pushover. As you guys have seen, like, I think we've even lost her once. She does have some pretty good cards and some pretty interesting strategies, so don't take her for granted. Uh, is this the prompt? Oh, it is. Okay. Okay, so whenever I get that, just hit A. Just hit yes. So, and Jackson, very lovely. Go. It's time for your injection. Soul Absorption plus, uh, yeah, Injection Fairy Lily. Pretty broken. Pretty broken. We basically spent all the life points we've gained so far. <laughs> That's so funny. Hopefully she'll stay in attack mode too. Oh, DD is Halo. I do not like. Okay. Alright. We'll draw. Force Raider. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Alright. Capsule will shatter. Giving us more future. But we got some good cards right now, so probably just gonna keep it all set for free. Alright, now time for the AMB! I summon Force Raider, the man beast in attack mode. <laughs> Go, Force Raider! Ooh, Mirror Wall! Nicely played, my. Nicely played. This cost her 2,000 life points per, uh, uh, per turn, so you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna end our turn. Yeah, yeah, let's see you pay that two grand, Mai. Oh, she did, wow, wow. I'm kind of shocked to see that, honestly. Well, if she goes low enough, uh, I think Injection Fairy Lily can just outright end the game. And we got another spell card. Lily Quido will basically pay for itself here thanks to uh, uh, Spell Absorption. So, we'll get rid of the last two cards in our hand. And I'm going to be curious, what are they? Look like DD Warrior Lady and... Is that Flying Kama Kiri? Yeah, number one. Good cards, good cards. I'm glad we got rid of those. to attack the defense monster, so I just want to see what this card is, honestly. Magician of Faith! Wow, we actually beat it. I'm kind of glad we attacked there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so she gets Egotist. You know what? I want to test something with Fairy Lily, but I don't want it to go badly and for uh, it to 
hurt us. So let's attack uh, this harpy lady. And now we use the effect, right? So mirror wall comes first. And now our effect goes, yeah? Poor damage calculation. Uh, yeah, so now we'll activate her effects. So do we get up to 3200 here? Oh, oh no, no, no. It cut us in half, but we were still at 1700. That is awesome. That is awesome, because she just added a, uh, the Harpy Lady, uh, the Elegant Egotist to her hand, so now she can't even use it, uh, but she draws a Harpy Lady, that's awesome. Yeah, get rid of your mirror wall, girl. What you doing? Alright, we're in great shape now. Alright, we keep gaining life points. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Alright, so let's just attack with two Gemini L. In case it's another mirror wall, which it might be, so. Uh, attack. Oh, good. So this is gonna work? So we'll get rid of the last card in our hand. Awesome. And what was it? What was it? Let's go Big View here. Last card in the hand is. Alright, Elegant Ink is this, duh. Alright. And now Assailant's Effect will unfortunately take out the yeah, two Gemini L. But we got a clear shot, so. Yes, we'll activate her effects. Nice. Pay two grand. And she's up to 3,400. Man, Injection Fairy Lily. MVP of this one. And last goal, too, really. Alright, main phase two. I think we'll set uh, some sharper. She might have Shadow of Ice. Yeah, yeah. But we baited it. We baited it. Ha! Now that doesn't affect my Magician of Faith. And I doubt you can put up... Uh, Enough points. You can't summon a Blue Eyes Ultimate to take out all my life points. Not <laughs> flying comic here, yeah, okay. What it means. I don't mind taking the lift. You're gonna take far more, my. You would have been better off just playing that in defense mode. I might have actually considered, like, eh, maybe I shouldn't spend the two grand, but now that you're in attack mode, we're good. We got Jinzo. Stuff. All right, so Mr. Sharpen, return to me now. All right, and we're just gonna. She didn't play any traps last time, so we're just gonna go straight into the battle phase and attack this. Hit yes, and we're gonna use the effects of injection fairy lily once again. So I'll pay two grand, my. And now it's time for your injection. Get out of here, you giant dragonfly. That's key. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Ooh, and we leveled up. Nice. It's a level 24. Nice. How many arms do you think we're up to, Nail? I think we're up to 24. That was a, uh... Poorly done Frieza quote from Dragon Ball Z at Bridge, by the way. I lost. The worst nightmare I can imagine just came true. No, the worst nightmare you can imagine would have been facing Rebecca five times in a row. That's, you know, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Rebecca's not that bad, honestly, but it is, you know, you do have to be on your toes. All right, so there's Yami Yugi. All right, we registered him. Man, look at look at all these people out here, man. It's great. One more unknown? Okay, no, it's makeup. All right, that's probably everybody, but man, we got a board full of people. Uh, we're probably just gonna run into the Kaiba, so let's go here. Uh, who is it? Oh, it's a Jizu. Ooh, this might be story stuff here. Yes, it is. You are the duelist I faced previously. Yeah. I would like to test your heart again. Will you duel against me? Sure. Let's do it, Ishizu. Oh, and I forgot to change decks, too. Call from below, but it's kind of good that I didn't. Because I think she has some stall stuff, too, like Gravity Buy. Alright, and so the person on the right here, Ishizu is Ishtar. It's time to duel. Alright. Interesting starting hand. Right, and she's got her, uh... Exchange of the Spirit deck. 
in this, of course. Aguido! <laughs> it's pretty funny. So anytime you say Aguido now, what I immediately think of, because it's 2023 now, and uh, believe it or not, her, uh, all of Ishizu, Ishizu Ishtar's, uh, you know, Earth Fairies like this, all of them have gotten, like, New Age support, and it's hilarious. that They, they do nothing uh, similar to what, uh, uh, you know, they did here, here in 2005, but uh, it's pretty funny. All right, Nidia Sailor, let's have her Aguido. Go, different dimension play. All right. Yeah, we should have time for this one. Aw, oh, Shizu's uh, portrait looks so sad when she takes damage in this game. Alright, so it's gonna use its effect. If it gets four, she can summon herself. Oh no, okay. Pretty interesting effect there. Alright. Uh, I think we'll keep Wall of Illusion in, uh, of Rilling Light in the hand. Probably discard it with uh, Card Destruction uh, next turn. Alright. Go ahead, Shizu. Solga! She has all of her cards. Ooh, maybe I should have set uh, Wall of a Reeling Light. Oh, well, I mean, but if she kills DD Assailant, it's just gonna use its effect and banish her, so. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You just lost two cards for my price of one. Alright, and plus you healed me with the 500 you took. Oh, but you took 500 with your equip. Ooh, it was scary. Alright. And we'll banish Zolga. Very good, very good. So we'll set this. Now let's see if I can do this right. So I'm gonna set Lightning Vortex, because I want to keep it. We're gonna play Card Destruction, and hopefully I can chain appropriate here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, ooh, did I get the prompt? Did I get the prompt? Ooh, I think I did, I think I did. Okay, good, good. So I held down Q there. Which I think is the prompt for, uh, uh, like, trying to use a quick effect. So I'll try to remember that. Because that's pretty key to this deck. Is open. Oh, no, no, no. Um, well, we probably should go to the big screen here to see how much she mills. Uh, so we'll call four. She has a lot of fours. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She could reverse this. Okay, good, good. She only milled, like, three cards. That's best case scenario for us. Best, best case scenario. So, ooh, that scared me there for a second, and she's it. Alright, now I summon the white magical hat. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep it big screen in case she has a trap here. White magical hat. Tap. Aw, oh, ultimate offering. Come on, bro. Oh, she didn't summon anything. Okay. Good. So let's discard the last card in her hand. It was... Oh, Shallow Grave. Wait, why didn't she use that? Why didn't she use Shallow Grave? Oh, is it because... Because I know she has stuff in her graveyard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be because I don't have anything in my graveyard, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got Thunder Dragon and stuff. Oh, yeah, my graveyard has only two cards. <laughs> oh, okay. But she is up to 11. If she gets to 15... She'll meet the threshold for pre errata exchange of the spirit. Well, she's up to 12. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Foolish burial. This could be bad. This could be bad. We could deck out here. No joke. We could get decked out. Another foolish burial. Holy cow. Yeah, the life points don't even matter here. At this point, I'm scared she's going to exchange of the spirit us more than anything. Okay. Okay, well, she didn't do it yet. Let's play DDC. Different Dimension Capsule. More life points. And you know what? Since we got all these life points, I'm actually going to banish uh, Injection Fairy Lily, believe it or not. Because we need to take her down quick. There she is. All right, come to me, Fairy Lily. In two turns. All right. We'll do battle here. At least she's not, you know... Uh, stopping our attacks either. That's good. Yeah, this might be a nice, easy duel. Okay. Especially if she's not gonna summon. Alright. Yep, so we just need one more round of a 
fun tags for these two guys. Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, the two girls and the white magical hat. Who had that cigar? But yeah, Exchange of Spirit. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, in this game it's called Reversal of Graves. This is pre errata by the way, so check this out. Uh, to activate, pay a thousand life points when there are 15 or more cards in your graveyard. Each player exchanges the cards in the deck, graveyard with the cards in the deck, and then finally cards from the graveyard are shuffled and set as the, the deck zone. Yeah, so the errata version, basically it's like, it's basically a fair version, where both players have to have exact, have, have to have at least 15 cards in their graveyard, which is stupid, because that basically means it doesn't do anything. So, yeah, I hate the errata version of that card. They should have just left it banned, you know what I mean? Okay, another face down. That's, you're scaring me, Shizu, you're scaring me. Ooh, we drew more from Jar. Nice. Alright, well, if all else fails here, we will jar it up. You know what, just to be on the safe side here, I'm gonna play Last Wheel, in case she, like, top decked a Mirror Force or something crazy. Uh, yeah. So let's, uh... Oops, what happened here? I can't switch phases. Oh, right, the Last Wheel prompt. Okay. Alright, well, this might be the end of the duel. Maybe she got called for Haunted? Let's start with Toon Gemini L first. Oh, okay. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Alrighty, Shizu, we win. Uh, fairly easily, too. And my life points got all the way up to 11,000. Uh, so, I don't know what was up with your draws this time, but, uh, <laughs> thanks for bricking. <laughs> Thank thanks for the memories. Alright. The, uh, Forbidden Memories? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Let's play. And 106 experience. Holy crap, she gives a lot. And we get 114 type of heart points. Now, something story-related might happen here. Let's check it out. You may have what it takes. Uh, what do you mean by that? I will be keeping my eye on you in this tournament. But, oh. Okay. Thanks, Ishizu. Bye. Alright. Well, we got another duel versus Ishizu. And that may help us progress the story. Uh, I think uh, after you beat her three times, though, which I'm pretty sure we have by now,